Rebuilding the Kiwani County Jail has been on the minds of law enforcement officials and board members for nearly a decade. Now it's one step closer to becoming a reality. I spoke with the sheriff to see why this is a necessity for the department and the community. You're going to see long, narrow corridors, long, narrow hallways, where we have zero visibility of anything and anyone going on in this jail. Kiwani County Sheriff Matt Joski has been advocating for a new jail with a pod design for the last seven years. The jail is the smallest and oldest in the state. And Joski says the current linear design of the building does not give the department the ability to expand their services or allow visibility to inmates. There's some thoughts that why can't we just keep that building relevant? I mean, we keep trying to go back and we keep being met with the same answers. The same, the answer hasn't changed. That building cannot be brought into current operational needs. If the jail project is approved, it will be built on this plot of land next to the county administration building. The new design would allow for better observation of inmates and an opportunity to grow services for those incarcerated. One of the biggest concerns from residents is how much it will cost them and that the project is not up for public vote. The general public that I talked to said they did not want this. That's what I found out, or they wanted to have the chance to vote themselves. The Sheriff's Department says the project will cost about $33 million. For taxpayers, the plan could cost anywhere from about 20 to 70 extra dollars, depending on the property value of your home and how the board plans to allocate the funding. It's a painful transition, as well as all the other projects and things that we're facing as taxpayers. Right? We know that we've got roads that need repairing. We know we've got other facilities that might need addressing, but we've got to break it down and say, what's the here and now? And this has been an issue that has been on the burner for over 20 years. It's time to address it and put it to rest. The project will be voted on by the county board on Tuesday, July 18th. If the project is approved, construction could start as early as next month.